Code is an event that takes place every December, and it's really a celebration and an opportunity to bring light to computer science, programming, and coding. And our students here in Frisco ISD join kids all over the globe in participating in a variety of activities that are computer science. An hour is really not long enough to master any coding language, but it is really a perfect amount of time for kids to practice creativity, problem solving, logic, and it's an opportunity for kids to really understand that anybody can code. So since we have such a broad range of students, the kids start with simple things like block coding um, and fun games that obviously are of interest to them. And then as they get a little bit more advanced in coding, they might do some programming languages like JavaScript or Python. And then we also have some physical technology that the students can use like our B-Bots and our Dash Robots. So it really runs the gamut of different activities that kids can use during the Hour of Code. Okay, does someone want to try this one? Who thinks they can code this one? Go up to time. Okay, let me press that. One, two. Go to the, this way and then. So I need to turn it to the left. I'm on Scratch doing a Google Doodle. So you can make these codes and then you can put them together and you can make like music to go along with the Google Doodles. You can make like the Google logo look different and you can change the backgrounds. I think I'm learning new things that I can code now. What else should we try? Let's go left once, then hit it again and then go up. There we go. Good job, guys. We really hit every component of the Future Ready Learner profile in Frisco ISD during the Hour of Code. We're obviously innovating. Kids are creating things and designing things and almost making magic happen when they create a new dance party activity with coding. Um, they are definitely responding to each other and working with their social emotional skills as they navigate challenges and have to showcase a growth mindset. We see a lot of collaboration and communication because it's definitely difficult at times, but the kids do a really great job helping each other through the puzzles. And then also we really see a contribution kind of starting to happen and as we spark this love of coding we can see the kids kind of start making games and getting more interested in what they could possibly do in the future.